So I found myself, as I often do, at the local scrapyard digging through their, well, garbage that they sell. And I came across a floor sander, the drum kind, and I just happened to have some hardwood floors that need sanded. But the, the, the axle on this thing was sheared off. My guess is one of the bearings was locked up and, and when they turned it on it just it sheared it at its weakest point which is that little piece that was just holding there. But it was only sixty dollars and normally those machines are several hundred so I figured I'd go ahead and get it and see if I could throw together an axle. So this is just some cold rolled steel here in the lathe and I, ideally this part would be turned between centers but because I'm working on a turret lathe with a not a very long bed I thought what I'd do is go ahead and turn down one side which is the shorter side and it's got a bit of a shoulder with a dimension to it get that side turned and change the collet pads out to match the I'm gonna call it a shoulder it's this area right here to match this area that's being cut and then once I flip it around then it can have that side in a collet and put the other side in a center so instead of between two centers, it's between a collet and a center, it, it should be good enough. So this side was pretty easy, just the dimension, two dimensions, diameter, length, the ends tapped. Now I'm just going to part it off to length. And of course we have to got to drill a hole on this side. It's got to be tapped as well, but it's also where the the center is going to go. So now you can kind of see the setup here. Um, beyond you can see the that turned area in the pads, collet pads, and of course closer up got that center. Now this end actually has two fairly critical diameters. Uh, one closer to the uh, tailstock there is where a bearing goes And then beyond has a uh, a keyway where the drum sits. So this part that's being cut now, this is where the actually that's not the bearing. That's where the uh, the pulley sits. So anyway, of course it needs uh, keyways put in it, and uh, this is just on the Herco. I just centered it up and I'm using a really really small eighth inch really small for me for what I normally do eighth inch four flute and uh, taking really light cuts because I was scared to death I was gonna snap that thing off I don't do a whole lot in steel so it's kind of a challenge every time this thing has three keyway slots. Fortunately they're all in the same on the same plane I guess. They can be done in one setup. 
originally I think they were on the original part I think they were done in a horizontal so they're a little bit different than original as you'll see uh, in a moment here but I don't think it's going to affect how it functions So after a quick deburr of those keyways here, you can see the finished shaft up front and obviously the broken one behind. You can see where it sheared off there. <clears throat> so this is the piece that was in the pulley. And you can see the keyways are slightly different. But overall, not a bad match so put it in the machine and see how it works you can't really see too much of it but here's the, the piece that was broke off or on the right hand side in the last shot and that pulley and of course it goes through the drum and then on the other side there's a fastener just to hold everything together and just doing a quick test run here you can see to the left kind of already did a test Forgot to have the camera rolling. The sander still needs a little bit of adjustments. Height of the belt and speed of the pulley, which is adjustable, which is pretty good. Um, but overall, um, can't really tell too much from that little patch I did, but the patch to the left, you can see it's it cut right through there and it's really smooth so for the price of the sander and a few hours in the shop not that bad next time I see something that needs a little work I'd, I won't be as scared to pick it up as perhaps I was in the past so anyway that's it thanks for watching